Welcome everybody to Pono Yoga's Yoga Nidra practice. Today I'm going to do a practice with you that is slightly different than what we normally do. Um, today I'd like to ask you before we begin to grab your mat or a towel or anything you want to lay on, two pillows and two blankets. Um, now is a good time to pause your video so you can go and grab those things and when you get back we'll read through a quick little paragraph or two in my book from my yoga teacher training and then we'll move into our yoga nature practice. Yoga Nidra is a practice that we practice to really do some internal healing. Um, we work on our mental, we also work on our physical. However, instead of moving through all of the practices that we normally do and the sun salutations and the different poses up down, you know, half up, half down, um, Yoga Nidra is practice laying down. Um, what we do is we close our eyes, we do some deep breathing, and we start to move our energy through our body. Now you might wonder what that means. Um, moving the energy through the body is something that I will talk you through. You'll keep your eyes closed and try to stay as still as possible. Now during your practice, you want to maintain those long, deep breaths. And the goal of this practice is to really open up the lungs, you know, get that oxygen flowing, but then also to calm down the parasympathetic system and really tune into our bodies and heal the parts of us that are hurting or that need healing. Um, right now, a lot of us are going through some challenges, uh, physically, mentally, spiritually, and this practice is a really good way to go through your body, check in, and make sure that you're really paying attention to the parts that are crying out for your help. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Let's begin. So I'm going to start off by reading um, out of my yoga training book. Um, this is my book. And this is a paragraph or I guess a section called The Power of Thought. Um, it's titled Thought is a Living Force. Thought is a vital living force, the most vital, subtle, and irresistible force that exists in the universe. The thought world is more real, relatively, than this physical universe. Thoughts are living things. Every change in thought is accompanied by a vibration of its matter. Thought as force needs a special kind of subtle matter in its working. Mind assumes the form of anything it contemplates. When you think of an object, your mind shapes itself into the form of that object. When you change your thought, your mind also changes its shape. Many modifications continually arise in the mind. Your thoughts rapidly change. Your mind also changes its shape rapidly. Every moment, mind is continually creating hundreds of these thought forms and continually dispersing them again. It never holds on steadily to one thought form for some time. Every thought has a certain name and a certain form. Form is the grosser and name is the finer state of a single manifesting power called thought. Thought, these three are one. It is the unity and trinity, the three degrees of existence of the same thing. Whenever the one is, the, us, the others also are there. Suppose your mind is now perfectly calm, entirely, without thought. Nevertheless, as soon as a thought begins to arise, it will immediately take name and form. Thus, you find that every idea that man has or can have must be connected with a certain word as its counterpart. Language is different, but thought is one. Mental image is the same in all. Sound has got four forms. It differs in different countries. And then it goes in to explain the different things in Sanskrit, which I'm not gonna get into today because I just wanted you to know um, that your thought is power and you have the power to change every chemical reaction that happens in your body whenever you're experiencing fear or sadness or anger or happiness or joy um, or forgiveness which is a huge one that I've been working on lately um, as we get started today I want you to go ahead and get comfortable on your mat um, the reason why I asked you to bring two pillows one is for behind your head the other one can be I mean you can hold it you can put it underneath your knees which is a really comfortable position um, that helps kind of support the lower back if you have any lower back pain 
um, and then a blanket for over you unless it's hot then you can also use those as bolsters underneath your legs or underneath your feet either way just get as comfortable as possible the goal here is to get to the stage right before sleep so please don't fall asleep during today's class if you do that's okay however we want to get to that stage right before where your mind is calm all thoughts have flown away and you're in that space where you experience just pure relaxation so as we move into today's practice and you lay down on your mats I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk you through our yoga nature practice so go ahead and find a comfortable position once you once you're there lay down and surrender your body to the earth beneath you close your eyes down and take one big deep breath and let it go this is your time to focus on you with your eyes closed down if your hands are out to your side try to make sure your palms are facing up you don't want any tension anywhere so kind of wiggle a little to stretch your neck now is a good time to do that but as you lay into your comfortable position I want you to focus on your breath notice your inhale and your exhale known as the third eye. As we focus on this space, I want you to imagine, use your imagination to imagine that there's a little light right in there. Do you see it? With each new breath, I want you to imagine this light is growing brighter, getting brighter on the inhale as your lungs expand. slightly dimming as you let the breath go. As you inhale, the bright gets the light gets just slightly brighter. And then as you exhale, it sort of dims down. Take a slightly deeper breath. And then let it go. I want you to continue imagining this light growing, expanding in a spherical shape as you inhale and then dimming back down into a slightly smaller shape. Every deep breath that you take expands the light and as you exhale, the light gets a little bit smaller. Use your imagination. Relax your body. Now I want you to change the color of your light to white. Do you see it? As we move this light through your body today, I want you to see this light as a healing light, a light that brings you peace and resolution, a light that brings you joy and hope. So as it sits there and grows, and then slightly gets smaller on your forehead. I want you to relax the muscles in your face. Maybe your tongue comes off of the roof of your mouth. 
Maybe your jaw relaxes. Maybe your lips slightly part open. I want you to slowly move this light down the front of your face into your front of your neck, right around the throat area. Keep breathing. Imagine this light growing and then getting a little bit smaller. As the light sits here in this area, I'd like for you to imagine healing the throat chakra the chakra responsible for speaking our truths, the chakra responsible for speaking is what is on our mind in a kind and loving way. Very good. Now I'd like for you to imagine this light moves down to your left shoulder. smaller, relaxing the muscles in your left shoulder, each new breath bringing healing and hope and joy. Slowly move that light down the left arm, relaxing the muscles in the elbow. Imagine the light growing as you inhale and slightly shrinking as you exhale. Relaxing the joints there. Slowly move the light down to your left wrist. there. Slowly melting away the tension, the pent up energy. And then we'll move the light through each finger starting with the thumb. The light goes into the thumb. Take a deep breath there. And then move the light into your pointer finger. And then move that sphere of white, bright light into your middle finger. Slowly move the sphere into your ring finger. into your pinky. Very good. Now move the sphere into the palm of the hand. Take two deep breaths here, imagining the sphere growing as you inhale and shrinking as you exhale. Very good. We'll move the light back up the left arm, through the elbow, up to the shoulder, back to center. Eyes closed down. And we slowly move the light over to the right shoulder. Take a deep breath here. Imagine the light is releasing tension in that right side of your upper back. Very good. Now we move that light down into your right elbow. Nice and slow. Deep breath. Very good. 
slowly move the light down the front, the right forearm, down to the right wrist. Take a deep breath here. Imagine the tension melting away into the earth beneath you. sphere into your right thumb. Deep breath. And over to your pointer finger. And then over to your middle finger. deep breath on the pinky finger. Then we'll move the light to our right palm. Take two deep breaths here. Imagine the light growing with the inhale. Take a nice deep breath and let it go. As we move through the rest of the body, I'd like for your light to get bigger, your sphere to grow larger with each deep breath and shrink just a little less each time you exhale. Take one deep breath. Imagine the light growing nice and big, enveloping the entire body. As you exhale, it shrinks just a little less. Each deep breath, let your body relax just a little more. Surrender. Now we'll move the, the big bright light down to our heart. over to our solar plexus, which is just above the belly button, just below the breastbone. Imagine your light growing here. And exhale. This is where we hold worry and fear.
this light down into our belly button. to our left hip bone. through the left toe, pinky toe. Very good. Now we'll move the light back up the left leg, but around the back side. So go to the underneath of the foot. Take a deep breath there. Bring the light through your heel and up through your calf. Take a deep breath in your calf muscles. Very good. Then come up the back thigh through the glutes. Take a deep breath there. And then we'll move to the root chakra, which is at the base of your spine. That is your center for creation. Take a deep breath here. Imagine your light growing and slightly going in just a little. With each deep breath, expanding that light. And exhale. Again, deep breath. breath at a time. We'll slowly move that 
that light down the right upper thigh into the right knee. Take a nice deep breath there. glutes. Take a deep breath. Very good. Now we'll move right back into our root chakra. Taking a couple more deep breaths here. your pelvic floor relaxing. Surrendering. And as your light grows brighter, slowly move your light up the back, through the spine, straight through the center, all the chakras, each deep breath, expanding the light. of the skull, the occipital bone. And this is where your light really expands. Let's move our light to our crown chakra, which is the top part of your head. If you were pulling a string from the top of your head up towards the sky, that's where the string would be connected. That is your crown chakra. Bring the light there. Take nice deep breaths. And as the light grows, imagine it enveloping your entire body. Now 
this bright white healing light. Slowly bring that light down the front of your face, through the throat, down to your heart. Remind yourself that everything's going to be okay. Fear and worry. Let them go. Don't entertain their stay. They are no longer welcome here. You are love. You are peace. You are joy. And you are hope. That is your true nature. Remember that. Keeping your eyes closed down. Just want to thank you for joining me here today for a short yoga nature practice. We had a full moon a few days ago. That means the moon is waning. You probably had some high stress days behind us. And as we move into this waning moon, our energy levels start to get less and less. Allow yourself to rest. Allow yourself the time to breathe and heal. Create the sacred space as often as possible. It is so important to your well-being. Mahalo for joining me today. Namaste. And just to close our practice, I have the singing bowl from Tibet. Thank you guys for joining me today. I really enjoy filming these classes for you guys and practicing together even though we're all separated in our houses. Um, I can't wait to get back on the beach and do our sunset sessions again. Um, I also have another announcement to make. Um, I did have some new shirts made. They're Pono Yoga shirts. I'll walk up a little closer. It does say Pono Yoga Hawaii at the bottom of the mermaid. Um, I have it in different colors. I have a blue, um, a couple shades of green, and I have this really nice purple um, sports jacket kind of style. And anyways, those will all be up on my website pretty soon. If you enjoyed today's practice, please leave a comment below. Um, share with your friends and aloha.